עשרת ימי תשובה. One of the problems that we have uh, with a certain image of a, that it seems to be that when you look at the seder, the order, we have Rosh Hashanah, a certain image of a, and then Yom Kippur. But actually, since Rosh Hashanah is Yom Hadim, the day of judgment, it's supposed to be that the 10 days of tshuva will be before Rosh Hashanah, as a preparation for Rosh Hashanah. So we are coming for Rosh Hashanah, and when we deal with, when we look at the tefillot of Rosh Hashanah, the main issue of the tefillot, it's about Hamlachat Hashem Ba'olam, declaring the kingdom of Hashem in the world. Ten pachdecha al kol maasecha, v'timlochat Hashem al kol maasecha, baruchat Hashem ha'melech ha'kadosh, the idea of the kingdom of Hashem, this is the main issue. But what about the din? What about tshuva? We don't have it in, in, in Rosh Hashanah, and, and the ten days of tshuva is just after Rosh Hashanah. So what is the idea behind it? So maybe we have to remember that the word tshuva, actually, in Ivrit, it's, we have a certain way tshuva as a repentance, but the first meaning of tshuva is an answer. And there is a question that we have to give the answer for the question. And so maybe the question is, the question that Hashem asked Adam Arishon, Ayeka. There is a very famous story uh, about Balatanya, the first rabbi of Chabad, when he was in prison, that uh, he was sitting in prison and the minister or the officer of the, of the uh, Betzoa of the prison uh, came to speak to, uh, with him about Bible, about Torah, and he asked him why Hashem had to ask Adam Rishon, Ayeka, where are you? Hashem didn't know where is Adam. So rabbi said, the question Ayeka, it wasn't just for Adam Rishon. This is a question that is still living in the world for every human being. Hashem is asking him, Ayeka, where are you? I gave you life. I gave you all the conditions that you can do something in your life. Where are you? What is the most important thing in your life? What is the, the vital thing, the meaning of your life? And maybe the tshuva that we have today, in, that we have to give in Rosh Hashanah, is the answer to this question, where are you? What is the most important thing in your life? And by putting Rosh Hashanah and declaring the kingdom of Hashem, we are saying, we are declaring that we know that the main issue, the main reason that we are here in this world is to declare that Hashem Malach, Hashem Melech, Hashem Imloch Lolam It seems to be like Chazal in the Torah is telling us, now in Rosh Hashanah, put aside, ignore your personal cheshbonot about, about your mitzvot and your averot. There is a time to deal with it after Rosh Hashanah. First, first of all, you have to answer to the main question. What, what is the thing? What, what is the main issue here in this world? And we're declaring, we know, and we remember in Rosh Hashanah to declare that Hashem Malach, Hashem Melech, Hashem Imloch Olam Ve'ed. After we come to this great event of Hamlachat Hashem Ba'olam, then afterwards you can back, come back to your personal issues to deal with your mitzvot and averot, but you're coming to this, to this um, position in a different way. You know what is, what, what is important in our life, and just now is the time to go to your personal mitzvot and averot, and then to come to Yom Kippur, that Hashem will give, uh, will give our slicha and our mechila. So let us pray and hope that we will come to Rosh Hashanah and we'll succeed to fill really the idea of Hamlachat Hashem Ba'olam and then we have all of us Shana Tova Umetuka.